Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Syracuse's coaching staff hasn't been shy about telling this team they should aspire to be a conference champion. And right now, this club has done its part, taking care of its division so far and hoping that that conference title is well within reach. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Stanley as the ball teed up and we're just about ready to get this one started he just drills this one makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time today they take the field for the last time the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive it to the 22-yard line. White gains around three yards on the run. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. Nice run there. the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Hawkins gets the carry. He's at the 40. Tackle at about the 35. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. And they'll move the chain. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Short over the middle. Touchdown, Orange! Quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. Well, that's a six-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. So the score now, 7-0. Gallagher gets set to kick this one away. Thomas fields at the goal line. Tackle at the 31. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. tight end. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that had big play written all over it. 
from their own 31-yard line. It's second down. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. He's at the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Mays makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Black Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Inside the 10. That's a great tackle at the 8-yard line. That's good for a game of 13 yards. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. To review, review the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is, is reversed. reversed. So they'll respot the ball, and we'll get this game going again. This is the eighth play of this drive. <laughs> Touchdown, Eagles! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. We'll be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. Boston College ready to kick this one off. Hawkins fields it at the two. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. <laughs> Nearly intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Throws in a 
it's incomplete. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Three down, three down. Check 27. Five and down. Let's go, let's go. Kill Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. Here's the eighth play of the series. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Eagles are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game, and if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Tackle made at the 20. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 30. Makes the reception. Mays brings him down at the 30-yard line. First down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. Give to the tailback. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's a team 13 yards on the play. First down. Right left, right left. Aiden's getting the ball here. Aiden's getting the ball. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. From their own 47 yard line, second down. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. Brought down at the 46. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. gets out to about the 37-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. And this play is number eight on the drive. Red two. Red motion, motion, motion. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. From the 26-yard line, 
First down. Red, two, go. four. <laughs> Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Here's play number 10 on the drive. up three yards on that play. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz first and delivering down. the football for a first down. From the 15 yard line, first down. Picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. That'll bring up second and three. Play 13 of the current drive. point time for an update from the studio reese what have you got the mustangs come into today's game ranked 20th in the nation the mustangs continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown smu in front 14 nothing all right thanks reese boston college to kick he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Well, you'd think the big tight end would be able to absorb a hit and hang on to the ball, but he couldn't get the job done there. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. He's hit and taken down. Quick shot. The defender tips it away. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Scrambling around. Smith comes away with two yards on the scramble. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play and they're coming after this punter he's taken down at the 44 There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Boston College is up a score. 
And they'll bring him down behind the line. That makes it second and 14. From their own 40 yard line. Second down. And he's taken down at the 49. Black on the tackle at the 49 yard line. That makes it third and three. First and ten. From the 42 yard line, it's first down. Black five, black five. Fires out to his wider. He's at the 30. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Seven points. Easy, easy. Here comes the pressure. Steps up and goes down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Won't we'll be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Fourth and long here after the sack. Stanley wants to pin these guys deep, and you got to think he'll be looking coffin corner on this one. Nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's out to the 30. And they make the stop at the 37. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Going long. Tackle right around the 20. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. The kick is up, and it is good. A great first half comes to a close. The Eagles lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced 
David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. And, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, Got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. Across the 30. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Boston College holds a four-point lead. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. two by the halfback. Tight end had it, and it's knocked away. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Looking for the corner. Moss fields it at the 24. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Side after a nice pickup. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. 
It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's taken down right around the 34. three they'll kick the extra point and he hits the PAT an 11 play 69 yard drive and they come away with seven points Takes it at the four. And down he goes at the 29. Syracuse got to be kicking themselves. They just let this lead slip away. This is a great example of why you have to play four quarters. You know, you can build up a nice lead in the first half. You think that the game's already taken care of, and you don't finish it off, and you give your opponent a chance to come back and win the game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down at the 43. That brings him down at the 43-yard line. That makes it first, first down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Dog four. Go. Throws it deep. And he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. First down. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. With room to run. He goes out of bounds at the eight. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and goal. So at the end of three. The Orange lead, 17-14. All right.
right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. Puts him in the driver's seat right now offensively. The question is, can the defense hold on here in the fourth quarter? He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Moss fields it at the one, and he's tackled at the 20. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, the defense has a chance here to put this game out of reach. It's going to come down to this last drive here. Over two minutes to go. It's a one-possession game, and if the defense can come up with a stop, more than likely this game is over and the defense can secure a victory. down quickly. They gained five yards there. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. it out to maybe the 40-yard line. to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Lost of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. And this play is number eight on the drive. They need to get it to the 27. And down he goes around the 29-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 20, and he's tackled around the 13-yard line. Hopefully he's going to be okay. This is the 11th play of this drive.
Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at the three-yard line. Scramble. Touchdown, and they take the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He sails it long. He caught it. That's a great tackle at the 29 yard line. Parrish with the tackle at the 29 yard line. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Black five, black five. And he throws it away. to the 19. He's in trouble. He throws it. Touchdown, and now they're in front. converts the extra point. Boston College lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Brought down at the 17. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's gonna count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left in the game. He wants it all, going long. Incomplete. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 17. Get to that quickly. 
Tackle at the 22-yard line. Webb gains about five yards on the play. Syracuse just took their first time out. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's going right. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. Syracuse called their final timeout. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 28-24, Boston College. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. You wouldn't figure either team would pull away, and it'd go right down to the very end. This was a really exciting matchup. Boston College made the plays they had to to win this game. And that's what it often comes down to with two evenly matched teams. Whoever comes through in a clutch gets the W. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.